Let us set up a scene. You live in an apartment when, and you live alone yep. and your food starts disappearing from your fridge, right? How is that possible? Well, okay. you start, of course, thinking about who it would be. Your first suspect, maybe your best friend who lives down the hall. That would make sense. You mm -hmm. always steal stuff. He won't home. confess. Really? So you know what the next thing you do, you yeah. set up a camera so you can uh, catch the culprit in the act. Always have a ring ready. For yeah, that. always have it ready. And you look at the tape and see an unlikely trespasser who has, get this, been living in your apartment for nearly a month. I haven't noticed. You know, that story could make for a really funny show. Well, actually, Mike, it is. Really? And it's called Above Board. And later this month, you can catch it on stage performed by the Kent County Theater Guild. Joining us from the Kent County Theater Guild this afternoon are Rebecca Lee. She's a chairperson of the Board of Trustees. And Ray Crew, he is the director. Thank you both for being here. Thank you, Thank guys. You for Thank you for how, how'd you like that build up there? <laughs> I'm, um, not much I can add to that. That was, that was really, really good. Now, you didn't mention some other key elements, like a straitjacket, handcuffs, uh, milk that disappears out of yep. the refrigerator. Oh, no. oh okay. There's, well, lots, there's lots of elements here. And we're, and we're going to talk about some of those elements mm -hmm. coming up in a little bit, but first I want you to tell us a little bit about the Kent County Theater Guild. Mm -hmm. All right, well, the Kent County Theater Guild is now celebrating our 71st season. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, we put on four main stage productions a season, so we've got great shows to pick from. Mm -hmm. We have Above Board, Scrooge Macbeth, Proof um, in the winter, and then we have the Grimm Brothers Spectaculathon. Oh. So we have a range of different shows so everybody can enjoy at our theater. What made you guys get involved with the Theater Guild? The Kent County Theater Guild? Well, I've <laughs> always been into acting uh, since I was a kid. Um, when I was 13 years old, I did my first production at the Kent County Theater Guild. Oh. I wow. played the daughter of John and Abigail Adams in American Primitive. In high school, uh, I acted in a few shows as well, and then I took a little break through college and becoming a mother, and then I came back. What about you, Ray? How'd you get involved? Well, I came to Delaware in 2018 just for the heck of it. An audition notice showed up on my Facebook page for this little weird group around the corner called Kent County Theater Guild. I said, hey, you know, I haven't done theater for a few years. I'll go and just audition. Didn't think I'd get a part. They cast me, and now <laughs> it's like organized crime. <laughs> Once you're in, you can't get out. <laughs> We mentioned your upcoming production of Above Board. Ray, can you tell us about it a little bit more than what we've already set sure. the scene for them? Well, it's a quirky romantic comedy. A young girl comes to Manhattan to find her lost love, but as is often the case in Manhattan, it's hard to find a place to live, so she makes an unusual choice. <laughs> and I'll just leave it go with that. So, so as director, what's it like to see this all come together on stage? Well, it's a phenomenal cast. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, they make your life so much easier. The story itself is fun. The characters are, are easy to like, uh, but again, this cast just, you know, they take notes, they take direction, then they take it in their own direction. And so by this point, I'm just sitting back and watching and enjoying it like the audience, quite frankly. If you want a really uh, impactful, fun night of the, th a great date night, wouldn't you say? It is perfect great date night. Great date Ooh. night. And it's appropriate for the family. Uh, absolutely. Abs it's, yeah, it's very clean, which again, not my usual fare. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, you know, it's a small house. Our theater only has like 80 to 90 seats, so you're right there with the actors. Um, it's a different show, but you will have a good time. You will laugh, you will cry, it will change your life. Where and how can we see the show? Oh, well, Kent County Theater Guild is located in Dover, Delaware. Mm -hmm. You can find our information on um, kctg.org. There's ticket links, information about other shows, how to become involved. We are a complete volunteer nonprofit organization, so. It's just keeping theater alive. And we appreciate that. And yeah. when's the cur first curtain? So it's 13, 14, 13. 20, 21, 22, 27, and 28. Did I get them all? I think <laughs> so. <laughs> it opens the 13th, runs for three weekends. The middle weekend, we have a Sunday matinee. All right. Very Many cool. chances to see it. Thank you so much, Ray and Rebecca, for coming in. Break a leg. Thanks. <laughs>